So a common question that we've been asked a lot in the past is whenever you press control tilde and you go into the hard ops helper, what does the WN and the HN buttons do? Well, basically the WN button will add a weighted normal on your modifier stack whenever you use C sharp and the HN will add a hardened normal onto a bevel anytime a bevel modifier is added to your mesh, whether it's through bevel or through C sharp with the add bevel button. But this improvement is about the WN button because there was a small inconsistency with it that did not make sense. And to show it, we have to first click the WN button to have it enabled. And to show it in action, we have our modifier stack. So I'm just going to use box cutter and just create a couple of cuts. And I just want you to look and see what happens here. So if I were to press Q and bring up sharpen, we see that control clicking sharpen will run C sharpen and we see that all of our bullions were applied, but a weighted normal was added. And the weighted normal normally would not be that bad of a thing. However, because there's not a bevel present, it ends up making the mesh look like this. So that means that you'll just be working and you'll just apply all of your bullions and you'll end up with your mesh looking like this unless you do not have this check, which just did not make any sense to me. It did not make sense for us to add a weighted normal to the stack if a bevel isn't present, because if we have a bevel present, for example, I'm adding a bevel at this time. If I were to control click sharpen, we see that now the weighted normal actually makes the mesh look a lot better. If you're working in this old school type method of working inside of C sharp. However, let us just press control Z and go back a couple of steps. And let's just actually just go in our control tilde and turn off weighted normal. And if we just control click, we see that basically the mesh has a nice result. However, we don't even have weighted normal enabled and it's just a bevel dealing with the surface, even though all of the modifiers have been applied. So you don't always actually need a weighted normal on the mesh, but sometimes it would just get in the way. And if you didn't have the bevel and you were to run a C sharp, it would just result in your mesh looking bad. So this is something that we wanted to resolve in the latest version. So if we jump over here and we just draw a couple of cuts using box cutter, then we go in our control tilde, make sure that weighted normal is enabled. If we just control click sharpen, we see that a weighted normal modifier will not be added whenever you run C sharpen if there is not a bevel modifier already present. And earlier I was talking about the button for adding a bevel modifier whenever using C sharp. Here it is right now in use where I'm just clicking on it and it's adding the bevel modifier and I'm able to then see the way the normal be present. But just letting users know that if you do not have a bevel modifier present, then the weighted normal will no longer add a weighted normal modifier onto the mesh, causing it to look bad, which I consider to be a bit of a bug.